h uh, the the uh, concentration of h plus ions we know how to write expressions for ka so we have done this part of the of acid base equilibria and now we know how to go about these questions so now let's do ph curves so basically a ph curve it shows what happens to the ph during a titration so for example you start with a strong base so a strong base as you can see this is a ph scale and it's a very strong base because it has a ph of 14 over here and if we start with a strong base like NaOH and we add a strong acid for example HCl which will have a very low ph so initially the as we keep adding the acid we will have almost a straight line over here because there will be very less neutralization because at this point the amount of base is still greater than the amount of acid so the the ph will still remain high but when the amount of acid is suddenly equal to the amount of base or stoichiometrically it has reacted completely with the base that means all of the base has been used up then we get a sudden vertical dip and we get the sudden vertical dip over here because now neutralization has taken place the acid has neutralized the base now if we keep adding the acid beyond this then obviously my pH will decrease to a very low extent because it's a strong acid and there is no base to neutralize it so we, I will have an overall acid in my solution and that's why the pH will fall so low now this vertical line that you see over here the midpoint of this line is called the equivalence point so this equivalence point now you can see that the midpoint is almost 7 so this shows that the neutralization or equivalence point of a strong acid and a strong base titration will be 7 because it's a strong acid reacting with a strong base so why this equivalence point is important for us we will do so we will do it uh, in a while but for now I want you to know this then the pH curve for the reaction between a strong acid and a weak base now this time I have started with a weak base so as you can see the pH is much lower compared to this time the, pH, the starting pH is much lower because a weak base has a lower pH than a strong base so and I'm reacting it with the same strong acid so now so when I do the titration again first it will decrease very slightly the pH because the base has not completely reacted but at this point which is this vertical steep line that you can see the base completely reacts over here that means stoichiometrically the as um, enough acid has been added to completely react with the base so the base has completely reacted so again we see a sudden dip and when we keep increasing the amount of acid beyond that the volume of acid beyond that then we get a, an overall acidic pH because, because all of the base has been neutralized so we get a very low pH because it's a strong acid so a very low pH now if you look at the midpoint over here at the equivalence point then it is not 7 this time it is below 7 so a pH below 7 indicates acidic character so this means that in a strong acid and a weak base titration neutralization happens more towards the acidic side because we are using a strong acid and a weak base the base does not have much power compared to the acid so the neutralization takes place close to the acidic side which is here uh, below 7 uh, initially we were getting neutralization at 7 which was the neutral which was neutral but now we are getting neutralization close to the acidic side because we have a strong acid so the acid is dominating and hence the, the equivalence point is more towards the acidic side now a weak acid and a strong base now I have the same strong base that I was using in the first case which is here I have, this, I have the same strong base but I have a uh, I have a weak acid now this time so I will start from a high pH again it there will be no significant change initially because the base uh, the, the amount of base is stoichiometrically more than the amount of acid but at this point again all of the acid will start reacting uh, or there will be enough acid to neutralize all the base so suddenly there will be a dip in pH 
and as there will be a dip in pH and I keep uh, and there, as there will be a dip in pH the, if the base will be neutral